Salute, men. This is Bad Boy D, and you're watching Bad Boy D TV. Today, I'm going to discuss the Soy Boy Movement. I could also be referred to as the Beta Male Revolution. It's a sad state of the world we're in right now, and Bad Boy D is going to drop some of his toxic masculinity on the subject. Let's chop it up, fellas. Stay tuned. Bad Boy D TV. You start drinking two to three liters of soy milk a day. I didn't realize how bad the soy boy movement was until recently. It's just progressively getting worse and worse. And there's several categories of the, these. I'm not going to call them men. I'll call them creatures. There's the hipsters. And then there's the... What I would refer to as fat lesbians. Because they're sloppy, obese-looking men. But they're not men. They're very feminine-looking. They look like fat lesbians. I'm sure you've seen them. They're, they're everywhere. So there's the hipsters and the fat lesbians. And then there's the mama's boys and the nerds and the... They're everywhere. The soy boys, they're everywhere. A few years ago, I lived in a smaller town and that's when I started the NoFap and I was really leveling up on my self-improvement and becoming uh, the most masculine alpha positive male version of myself. Even though I jokingly refer to it as toxic masculinity because that term is such a freaking joke. I was becoming a good, honorable, masculine man. However, in my still immature brain, I, I knew I was moving back to the larger city I grew up in. And I almost thought to myself, like, man, here in this smaller town with everything I've learned, and I'm really a big fish in a small pond here. And I'm just gonna be another dude in a big city. I'm not going to stand out at all. And man, was I wrong. I had no idea. I didn't realize how much worse it was in a metropolitan area. Because in that town, if I was a big fish in a small pond, I'm going to quote the rock on this one. If I was a big fish in a small pond there in the city, I am a whale in a teardrop. Probably the most ridiculous line The Rock's ever said, but I thought it was hilarious when I heard it way back when. But oh no, I still feel like a big fish in a small pond in this larger city I live in. Mommy, mommy, give me soy. I have been a patient boy. Mommy, mommy, make it quick. Every last drop I must lick. Mommy, mommy, I am thirsty. Now I drink your milk. You're my soylent cow, mommy, mommy, I suck your feet, please castrate me with your teeth, mommy, mommy, soy me up, soylent milk in every cup, mommy, mommy, I- In my travels the other day when I had to pick up some cigars that are very hard to find, only two stores sell my cigars in Windsor, probably because they're being suppressed by the Illuminati because they've been clinically shown, bullseye cigarillos have been clinically shown to increase your testosterone sixfold, and- convert dihydrotestosterone into its most anabolic form of testosterone, which is hydroxyethanate, hydroxybutyrate testosterone. That part was a lie, of course. Anyways, back to a serious note. I was walking back to the required destination, and I happened to walk through in the downtown square area what I would refer to as hipster fest. I have no idea what it's called, but it's some sort of new age thing they do during the summer where they have all these organic booths set up, selling jewelry and vegetables and incense and all types of new age bullshit. The three year ago me would have loved it. I was all into that new age hipster shit. I would have had a ball there. But man, the better version of me masculine me that's down with the father in heaven me when i was walking through there 
felt like I was on another planet. Felt like I walked into an alternate dimension. It's this new agey violin-y bullshit music playing it made me feel very uncomfortable. And even though I had never been probably in a safer place in my life, with no real clear and present danger, I had my fists clenched and I was ready to scrap at any minute for some reason, even though there was no danger present. I was clearly out of my element. Once I stepped out of the area of the kiosks and the music and the hipsters back to the gritty streets of Windsor, I felt much better. I hope I never stumble through that monstrosity ever again. For the first time after that experience seeing homeless people and crackheads scurrying around the street never felt more comforting to me, even though that's a terrible thing to say. But yes, men, the, the beta male revolution, the soy boy movement, is a real thing. It's everywhere. And it'll try to suck you in. It's easy to get sucked in. You walk into the meat department, and now all the meat are, is starting to get replaced with the, the veggie burgers. They're trying to push the veggie burgers. All the music you hear is estrogen-fueled and satanically feminized that's what you get that's what you fucking get bitch the devil wants you as weak and girly and unmasculine as possible and he comes as an angel of light that's why all of this is meant to look good you're a good man good men do this be obedient be tame calm your masculinity it's toxic don't fall into the trap, man. It's a trap. I find I'm almost happy and refreshed when I see a fellow masculine man. You don't even see him anymore. If I see a fellow alpha, it's like I almost get a little too friendly and chatty. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? How you doing today? And they're usually quite friendly back. I just find it good to see them. It's like, man, you do exist. There's still some of us left on this planet. It's like I said, guys, moving to a larger city, I thought I'd have a lot of competition. But man, like, I almost feel like you have to look for competition. When you finally see one, it's like, hey, where you been, bro? It's really sad. The lack of posture and spines these so-called men have. I know it's fun to make fun of them and talk condescendingly, but, like, I'm being serious, too. This is a little comedic, but it's pretty serious at the same time. I'm no cap, guys, no lie. Like, there's, there's a serious problem, and it's only gonna get worse. Like, we've gotta wake as many men up as possible to this, because we're gonna be obsolete. The term real men gets thrown around a lot. But I feel the alphas, us alpha males out there, we are the real men. And we're becoming extinct, little by little. I think a lot of the alphas out there, I think some of them are the ones that are joining the gangs and becoming incarcerated and joining a life of crime because not all of them, but some of them, because it's the only alpha activity that's left. We do crave risk and destruction, and there isn't a lot of anything masculine left in the jobs and in the workplace anymore. There's no room for real men there. If you want to move up in the corporate structure, there's no room for real men anymore. You have to be a politically correct cookie cutter. And if you play your cards right and you smile enough and you kiss enough ass, you'll move up. And that life just isn't for me. And it's not for a lot of the other guys out there too. It's just a sad state we're in right now, man. I guess we can just make the best of it and 
kind of enjoy being the big fish in a small pond, knowing what we know with our red pills and always putting an optimistic spin on it. So I can't say I'm depressed or unhappy. I love my life. Life's never been better. And that's the way it should be. But I'm not seeing it in these beta males and soy boys. I see a real lack of life and zest and purpose. I hope you enjoyed Bad Boy D TV's random rant today. Please leave a comment and like the video if you feel inclined to do so. And you also have the option to check out one of my latest videos in the top right corner. Another cool ass video right under that. And subscribe to Bad Boy D TV in the bottom left corner. I wish you peace, prosperity, and many blessings, men. I'm out of here.